Welcome to our estate sale preview this week. This week we are in Edmond, Oklahoma, off of Santa Fe and Northwestern, and a really amazing sale. This house is 5,000 square foot, and it is packed like you would not believe. We're going to start in the media room, and then I'm going to come back and take you on a tour. This tour is going to take forever. We've got over 4,000 CDs, and I'm not kidding, over 4,000 CDs we counted. I mean, it's amazing. We have lots of really cool art, lots of really cool decor, nice high-end electronics. I mean, there is every single manufacturer. There's Sansui, Pioneer, Sony, Denon. Uh, there is Harman Kardon. I mean, pretty much everything you can imagine. Uh, we have four of these amazing cypress wood tables. You know, as you know, these things have gotten real popular lately, but we got four of them, two coffee tables, two end tables, lots of speakers, lots of vintage Asian speakers, lots of really nice, good vintage electronics. We also have the sofa. The sofa has recliners on both ends. And over here, we've got the sofa table and a whole closet full of more CDs and electronics. And of course, show you the CDs over here. Next, we're going to go into the next living room. And we have a fun little bar area, lots of little barware. We have another closet full of more CDs. And we've got this oversized, this is an extra large size recliner. Uh, this is really wide, uh, and it's for tall and wide people. The We have hundreds of boxes of baseball cards. And when I say there are tens of thousands of baseball cards, I'm not exaggerating. Major, major sports collection. Uh, this is a small fraction of the baseball cards we have. There are literally hundreds of boxes of them. Uh, more CDs, more baseball cards. Over here, uh, more baseball cards, more CDs. We have lots and lots of records. A lot of really good, nice uh, 70s, 80s rock and roll. We have this entertainment center here with some really nice, uh, there's a teak reel-to-reel -reel player, uh, some really nice electronics in it, some more fun decor, and he also has a very large bobblehead collection. Most of it is all sports related. There's all the Red Hawks from Oklahoma City, so we have almost every Red Hawk player that's ever been a player at the Red Hawks. Plus we have lots of other bobbleheads from all the major people. Now we're going to hop into the next living area. There are six living areas in this house. We have these two fun, these are uh, brass and smoked glass display shelves. They're really heavy duty, very sturdy. Uh, there's a bronze statue on top and I mean it's very heavy duty and they're really kind of fun pattern. We also have this little mid-century cityscape. This is San Antonio. Uh, it's an artist piece that was done by an artist named Lewis Allen. He also did several other pieces in the house. We have all these wood, these are wood marquetry pictures which are, where they inlay all the wood together and there's five of them. Lots of other kind of fun, interesting art throughout the house. We've got five total Remington bronzes. Uh, we've got Mountain Man, we have Bronco Busters, we have Coming Through the Rye, and we have two End of the Trails in two different sizes. So really a large collection if you're looking for some. We have this really nice sofa table or console table. We have, this is one of two huge Cypress clocks that we're going to be selling. And over here we've got a mirrored, kind of a funky 70s, 80s mirrored cityscape. And this is an absolutely amazing TV set. It's flat panel and it's the ultra thin flat panels. These were like over four or $5,000 new. And when I say ultra thin, it is literally the thickness of an iPad really phenomenal TV. Works great. We've had it on. We've also had this little mid-century grandfather clock. And over here we've got a signed Mike Huckabee electric guitar. So if you're a Mike Huckabee fan, we have this really neat hand-signed electric guitar with all the certificates with it. Next to it we also have Vince Gill's guitar. And on it it says it's uh, from the Country Music Awards where he signed it. Uh, or Entertainment of the Year where he signed it. Uh, up on top we have, there's two different Murrah building memorial uh, with the with the rocks, uh, which is part of the debris when they tore it down. We have two of those. We also have two Berlin walls. 
And the case above that, we have George signed George Bush and Gerald Ford baseballs that are mounted together in the same display case. They're all authentic. The guy had a major sports collection that was extremely expensive. The really good stuff got sent out to auctions across the United States, and we still have more than you can ever imagine. Uh, we've got a pair of Bernhardt chairs with ottomans. And like I said, they're both by Bernhardt. The leather sofa is made by Lexington, and it is stunning, very good shape. This is another one of the Cypress tables. The other end table is over there, and the really cool one is over here. This one's a solid piece of Cypress. It's not the typical Cypress top that they cut and put on a stump. This is one solid piece of wood. And next we're going to go to the bedroom. Like I said, this is a very long tour of this house. This is a universal bedroom set. It is king-sized. So we've got the dresser, and this is the dresser with the really high, you know, high, uh, high-waisted uh, dresser top. So it's taller than a lot of the older sets. We've also have the pair of bachelor's chest nightstands, and we have the king-sized sleigh bed. We also have a pair of almost new. Craftmatic adjustable beds, so these are fully they fully work. They have wireless remotes. I mean, go up and down. We've tested all of it, all of it out. It works great. We also have the matching entertainment center, and then over here we also have another entertainment center with another flat panel TV, and lots of linens. We have a safe. Um, let's see, we have lots of Asian decor, and. The next living room, we've got a uh, costume jewelry, kind of at this end. And there is a pair of these little nightstands. These nightstands are really cool. They open up and they have little pillows. So you pull out the pillows and you can sit around on the floor. Um, this is only the second set we've ever had at any of our cells over the last 25 years. So really, they don't come up very often. The last set was almost 10 years ago. Really hard to find, and we have a pair. Uh, also have this cute little sofa here. Uh, one of the most exceptional things in the room is we have a home shrine, and this is a really old home shrine, probably turn of the century. It's all wonderfully gilded with carved wood. I mean, it's absolutely exceptional. We also have... Um, some books. Uh, these are the normal books. We have some exceptional books I'm going to show you in a little bit. Uh, we have some normal books. We have this lacquered Asian table, lacquered and painted. We also have this kind of modern etergé. It is uh, dark teak wood with brass mounting. Very nice, very heavy duty and sturdy. Next on the list, we are some of the cases we have at least four sets of sterling plus lots of miscellaneous other sterling pieces and obviously you know we don't keep the sterling here overnight so it will go home with me then come back for the cell we also have a rather large Mearsham pipe collection and also some briarwood pipe collections we have some hinkle knives uh, some other hunting knives we have some foreign coins a little bit of collector's coins some state quarters that are you know proof sets We've got, uh, there's a pair of, these are the Berlin Wool items. And over here, these are some of the books. Uh, a lot of these are signed first editions from the artist. So we have, uh, we have Nixon, we have Bush, we have Newt Gingrich. A lot of these are, you know, signed and boxed with the certificates of authenticity to them. And then outside, there's a patio set with a brand new, grill that was used one time from Sam's. It's a big grill, stainless, and it's only been used one time. Uh, this is another one of the um, Remington bronzes. Um, this is kind of the medium-sized one, and it is sitting on top of a carved Asian silverware chest. The top lifts up, which the statue on it is kind of blocking it, and then there are three drawers plus a cabinet underneath, and really nice. We've got over here a pair of bar stools. And we've got this table and chair set. There's four chairs in the table. Nice big pedestal table. Um, 
we and it is like new there's not a scratch on it we also have this huge punch bowl set it has 36 cups and it's all silver plate with the holiday season coming up it would be pretty handy to have we have this Asian bar, and this bar is the coolest thing. I've only had a couple of these in the past, all hand carved. The top, this folds up and then the top comes down so you can set stuff on it, or it opens up. It also opens up here. It comes with all the original barware. It's all bamboo themed, so there's little bamboo pieces etched onto it. And it has four secret doors. All of these open up and full of glassware sides also open up and it's full of glassware and on the other side the other two secret doors also full of glassware so it still has all the original glassware to it all the bamboo really exceptional carving really cool piece the last one we had was probably six or seven years ago we used to run into them but now all of a sudden boom they're gone uh, then we have probably 10 to 15 of these temple rubbings these all came from thailand possibly from Cambodia, but Thailand's one of the more common places for these to have come for when people uh, do vacationing. And like I said, about 10 to 15 of them. We're going to go into the dining room now. Dining room, uh, we have the table and six chairs. And the we have a pair of these cabinets. These cabinets are made by Suzuki, uh, not the automobile company or the motorcycle company but the different Asian company made in Japan they had the little labels on them they're exceptional they open up and they're fitted out with drawers really stunning pieces when you see them in real life these would be excellent bachelor's chests for the sides of beds or in a dining room really great pieces we have a pair of these little Majolica elephants and we have some Asian bronzes uh, some folding screens on the table, we have lots of you know silver plate, you know entertaining items because this is the entertaining time of the year. We also have this <coughs> rather large eight-panel screen. This is all needlepoint embroidery on the panels, and on the table, in addition to the silverware, we have a lot of the ruby red uh, hand-cut crystal that's called Cut to Clear. We also have some Franciscan china. And we have a sterling teapot set. It is the teapot, coffee pot, creamer, and sugar. And this is all sterling. The rest of the stuff is silver plate on the table. Then we've got these. Um, these are collector's plates. These are from Korea. There's an entire series. They're very collectible, really high dollar uh, china. Um, let's see. Next, we have the second of the chests and some decor on top of that. Now, we're going to show you, this is the full length mink coat. This is Black Glamour, which, you know, they advertise themselves as being the finest minks available in the world. And here we have typical, you know, typical office stuff, uh, desks, uh, file cabinets. We have more matching desks in the other library. This is the sports room. We can't get into it because it's locked up and the alarm's on to it. Uh, it has its own separate alarm, but it is packed full of sports stuff that's all signed. It's amazing. Uh, we have six sets of samurai swords in these cases. This is four of them. We have another two. Um, some miscellaneous office supplies. We have some office furniture. This is some of the sports stuff that's not locked up, including... All of these are all signed baseballs by all different players from all of the leagues. They're all signed. They're all real. Uh, this is just a tiny portion of what's available. In the next room, we have two lane modern bedroom sets. Uh, they are, it's called Brutalist Style. They're both by lane. These never, ever, ever come up. We've only in 25 years had one other set. We sold that set twice at two different estate cells, and this is the third time that we've actually had this set ever come up. These are very hot, very collectible. If you look on first dibs, they sell these pieces for like two or $3,000 per piece on first dibs. And we have some more kind of uh, sports decor. These are Wilt Chamberlain figurines. These were $400 new. He has the away shirt and the home shirt. Over here, we also have another figurine. Uh, this one is was also $400 new. This is a Mark McGuire figurine. 
and we have sports jerseys. We also have uh, sports jerseys, hundreds of baseball caps, and we're going to go into the next wing of the house. I told you, this house is huge. Um, we've got the entryway Asian table with the little Kuan Yin's, uh, and these are huge. These are about two and a half, three foot tall. And this is another sports room. More cards, more bobbleheads. And like I said, hundreds of boxes of cards. More bobbleheads. And more sports cards. And the room that we can't get into is also full of sports cards. Uh, we have two framed jerseys. We have an Elway jersey and we also have a Cavs jersey. Um, these are all signed, framed, really nice. Let's see, in the front bedroom, we've got, this is another lane. This is the second lane set I was talking about. This is a slightly different style, but the same era. And this is absolutely exceptional. We have the armoire, the dresser, we have the bed and two nightstands. And absolutely fabulous if you're doing the modern mid-century look or the redoing a 70s house. So, next room on our list is, this is the library. We've got, these are more of the signed books. These are all uh, signed by the author. We've also got more of the matching uh, office furniture that was in the other room. We have two matching file cabinets with a matching credenza. We have the L-shaped desk, lots of decor, really nice uh, computer equipment, uh, more books. And over here, kind of, we have, these are boxed first edition books that are signed with their certificates of authenticity. Okay. And then we're going to wander into the kitchen. We've already kind of been through here, but I didn't show you the actual kitchen part. So we have all the kitchenwares that you normally find with the house. We have this stunning stainless steel Dutch door refrigerator. Um, a really gorgeous fridge. Uh, we've got... All, the, all this other kitchen wares that we're going to be selling. We've got the um, pots, pots and pans in the utility room. We've got stuff you'd normally expect. And then we have this gorgeous Whirlpool Cabrio set. It's a matching set. Works great. We actually tested it out. Not a problem. It works perfect. And in the garage which is the last room on our list this is also be where we're checking out so when you make it through the whole house you go through the garage to check out we've got this really nice it's a frigidaire freezer and it has the temperature right on the front so you'll know exactly what the temperature is you'll have to worry about you know not knowing if it's working or not you've got file cabinets we've got all sorts of fun miscellaneous stuff some more uh some more serving stuff teddy bears, we've got Christmas decor, lots and lots of luggage, and I believe we have a pachinko machine, we have an antique trunk, a little bit of the hand tools, and then some games and some stationery, we have some escargot shells, and this is the vintage pachinko machine. That pretty much wraps up our tour. We would love to see you at the cell this week. I mean, like I said, huge sell almost something for everyone it is absolutely amazing what we have here so we would certainly love to see you here and we'll we'll leave the light on for you bye-bye <laughs>